Hello, this is Tim Campbell at Action Coach Business Coaching with my Survive and Thrive Business Spotlight Series. The purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them through my social channels and email database, as well as provide them coaching. This is a free service I'm doing because if we save every business, we save the economy. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Corey. Welcome, Corey. It's great to have you on the program today. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start with tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I am a second generation plumber after after spending most of my life bouncing around from different companies and really not finding what I was wanting. I decided to uh, go out and, and forge my own path. And uh, that, that's what's led me to, to plumb on. Fantastic. Well, in a, a 30 second commercial, tell us about your company. <laughs> Um, we are a family-owned business that, that prides itself on, over, on quality over quantity, um, taking care of the customer and truly having a, a family feel to us and not just someone to come out and, and sell you a, a problem to fix. That's awesome. I love that. So tell us, how long have you been in business? Um, we are we are coming up on our, our one year full mark um, here coming up in June and uh, we have every every day and every week that we have been going by has have uh, steadily expanded um, working working towards those future goals. Well, congratulations on that, especially during COVID. I, I you've got to feel very proud of of the fact that you're continuing to grow. So, hey, Corey, tell us. Who do you serve? Who's your your best customer? We call that a target audience. Um, really, anybody that ha- that has plumbing. Um, so we 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 want everybody's plumbing to be as safe as possible. Um, that way, there isn't any sewer gases or anything that may be coming into the home. Making sure that everything is top notch, um, and that that they have running water and sewer to to get it out of their house. Fantastic. So tell us, what's been the greatest impact that uh, COVID has had on, on your business? Um, really just the, the increased demand. Um, people are at home more now than ever. So they're getting projects that, that they've been wanting to get done for so long. Um, since there's more family in the house, now they need more room. They're adding in offices or maybe another bathroom. Um, on top of that, now they're using their toilets and showers and sinks more, more throughout the day. And they're starting to notice issues that they never noticed before because of that extra load on the system. Um, that with that, uh, water heaters are being worked more now than ever. Um, so, so those are those have been some common issues that we've been running, not including the the weird freeze that we've had here recently. So, um, unlike a lot of people that I interview, the the pandemic's actually been beneficial to your business. Um, to a certain extent, um, but that that's uh, kind of na- a national. Um, nationwide, and everybody in the construction industry has seen steady growth throughout just because of the the increase of home life instead of being out in the public more. Wonderful. So tell me, um, what are one or two actions that you've taken uh, during this uh, crazy time to make a difference uh, in your business, and how are the, how has that been working for you? Um, one of the biggest things that, that we have been been doing is just making sure that the areas are completely sanitized, whatever we deal with, because everybody knows what, what the plumbing is used for. It's not necessarily the cleanest thing, so, and not including having a new stranger into your home, bringing in other, other viruses that may not be in there already, just making sure everything's cleaned down. Wonderful. I appreciate that, the fact that you're taking that extra care to to uh, take care of your customers. So Corey, here's an interesting question. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes have you made along the way that other entrepreneurs can learn from your experience? Um, Take your time, learn as much about what your business is doing, um, whether that be online doing e-commerce or just your presence um, as a company online. Um, making sure that that you're putting your your eggs in the right basket with with companies that you may be using for SEO and learn as much about that as possible, um, especially with with how how volatile Google can be in the first place. Um, that that is the biggest biggest bit of advice that I've I've kind of had to learn over the few bumps that I've hit in the road. 
Well, thank you for sharing that with us. So Corey, what areas of the business um, are you gonna need to further adapt to Excel in 2021? You got me on that one. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, so uh, what we are planning on doing to help excel ourselves and to grow in the coming year is just like I was talking about is furthering our online market. I put my eggs in a couple of bad baskets that that haven't actually worked out for me. Um, with that, we are we are hiring in and partnering with uh, with a couple of local companies that, that are helping us truly succeed and help our customers at the end of the day um, to be able to do whether it be the bathroom remodel people are doing to, to expand that living space or whatever the case may be. Wonderful. So second last question here, Corey. Um, I'm going to get your contact information and, and uh, your website address and things like that to be able to, to put that information so folks can find you. But is there anything else that you'd like us to include, like any type of offer that you're running right now? Um, right now, we are offering 10% discount to all new customers, um, and that's included with we always waive our service fee with any repairs. Um, so that's always a bonus because most companies nowadays are wanting to tack that on there because of the added cost of running business. Um, that's that's about what, what we're looking at on that. Um, we also have our, our book online that we can add um, through our website. So all you have to do is to put your information in and it gets sent directly over to us to get you booked on the, on the schedule. Fantastic. All right, Corey, last question here. Tell us what's been uh, most inspiring to you during all of the craziness of the last year. Really, how how people, especially entrepreneurs, have have used used this world crisis um, to to find new ways to create businesses where there were wasn't opportunities before, but now are. Um, that's been my biggest inspiration across the board because it has put a fire under so many people that's been wanting to do this for so long that just. Uh, all of a sudden had this opportunity land in their lap and they've taken and ran with it, which is absolutely wonderful to see. Wonderful. Well, hey, Corey, thank you for sharing um, your insights today. That does conclude our interview. For those listening, if you are in need of plumbing help, please reach out to Corey. Um, as you heard, they, they go above and beyond. Right? They're more about that personal touch and that personal experience. So make sure to reach out to them. If uh, you heard anything through this conversation that maybe you're struggling with as a business owner and you'd like some help, I'd be, uh, be blessed to have a conversation with you and, and help guide and direct you. So I'll provide my contact information as well. Corey, it's been a pleasure uh, learning about you and your business, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking with you. All right. Have a fantastic day. You as well.